Well, in Pinellas County, a St. Pete startup is looking to make history with the first ever data center on the moon. And on your side's Trevor Sahaki explains. All of this data you have stored in the cloud, it's not actually in the cloud. It's in a massive data farm, typically in the middle of nowhere. Now, a St. Pete startup wants to put all of those massive data farms on the moon, and they've already begun. Just basically protecting all of humanity's data from Earth's largest satellite, the moon. For Lone Star Data Holdings, not a lofty goal. And that's going to be the first ever data center sent off planet, physical hard data center. A data center on the moon. It came out of clients asking founder Chris Stott to protect their data from Earth. Down here is where we have all the wars, all the storms, all the power cuts, all of the accidents. And it was how do we protect our data so it's safe, secure, accessible and under sovereignty. And we do that up in space. In February, Lone Star already made strides toward their goal with the Independence Mission. The St. Pete startup transmitted documents off planet for storage on a lunar lander on the surface of the moon, and they started with a copy of the Declaration of Independence. And we've gone from science fiction to science fact. We're on the moon. We are continuing to go to the moon. The lunar economy is no longer a PowerPoint slide. Jim Burns Montanti is Lone Star's chief engineer. What we're looking at is not so much an issue of how long does it take us to bounce a signal there and back, but instead we're trying to figure out how fast can we take a large amount of data and get it back to the Earth. Him and his team are in charge of solving the many problems that come with operating on the moon. How do you design electronics that survive the harsh environments of space, the temperature swings, the radiation, all the things the science fiction people talk about and have written about. And they continue to problem solve with their next launch coming up soon. The five-year-old made me, I have to pinch myself because I'm like, wow, this is awesome. And then, I'm like, okay, deep breath, right? Now we have to work. Lone Star's second mission, named Freedom, is planning on launching in either August or December of this year, depending on timing. So we'll be sure to keep our eyes on the skies. In Tampa, Trevor Sahaki, 8 on your side.